Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at how to make an open source contribution. So open source means you can go and view all the code that is there, but you don't necessarily have the permissions to change it. You know, if you, if you put an open source project up yourself, you can very easily update that. But someone else's project, there's a few more steps to go through. And that's where we, we start to talk about things like forking, pull requests and other branches. So hopefully all of those will become clear here. It is quite straightforward, just a little bit scary initially. Okay, so a good place to start on GitHub is to look up the first contributions project. So this is specifically for learning this process. So you can come in here and try it out without the fear of getting it wrong. It doesn't matter if you get it wrong, you just keep trying until you understand the process. Um, all these steps that we're going to go through are listed down here, so you can go through them um, at whatever pace suits you afterwards. You would think um, that you could come and click the code button here, and if it was your own repo, yes, you could do that. But if we're looking to contribute to someone else's repo, we need to move up here to the right and click on the fork button. So that will create a copy of this repo in our own account. So I'm gonna click on that now. We notice in this bit here, we're in first contributions and the first contributions repo. When I click on fork, it's gonna flick over into my account, into Mark James Howard here, and still got first contributions, but it's a copy of it. So this means I can make changes in here without any fear of breaking anything in someone else's project. Before it goes in, they're gonna check that they're happy with it. Right, so now, now that I've done that fork, I can do the code button and click here to get the URL. So this does assume that you have a, you know, you're, you're okay in using Git um, and GitHub. If not, you need to look to those videos first. Um, with that said, we would then do a Git clone to get that code that we forked down onto our computer. Uh, take a couple of seconds, but basically we're just gonna now update the contributions um, document. Just gonna add our name in there. Uh, lots of, you'll see lots of other names are in there. And we'll try and get that pushed up into the remote repository. Right, um, if I do a git status here, uh, oh, I need to go into that directory that it created. So, and now if I do a git status, we can see we're currently on branch master and we've got no changes. To make this even cleaner, we should create a branch specifically for this purpose. So we can do git branch and call it say add enhancement. And then we wanna actually pull that one down as well. So we do a git check out add enhancement right one last git status so we're on this new branch we've created so not only have we forked the repo um so that we've got a distinct uh, set of code we can work on we've also created a little branch just for this change as well okay let's open vs code we'll make the change in there and if i look down the left here i can see this contributors.md this is the one. So everyone that's trying to learn this process has come in here and added their name in. So we're gonna do the same thing. I can just come down to a line here um, and I'll just say a shot of code and I'll save that off. Right, with that in place, if I now do a git status, we should see, yes, we've modified that file, contributors.md. And it tells us what we can do here. We need to do a git add, and then we're going to do a commit. So I'm going to go git add, and you can put the file name or dot for everything that's changed. And then we'll do a git commit, and we'll say we added a shot of code. And with that in place, I can then, I can now push this up to my copy, the forked copy in GitHub. So there was the, the, the initial repository, first contributions, we copied that into our repo and then we copied it down to our PC. So now we're coming back up to GitHub. So I can do a git push, um, it's going to origin and it's from add enhancement. And that will get us back up there. So I now come back into GitHub uh, now, sometimes it will show this straight away. If I do a refresh, 
might say no, but I can go into pull requests here. Um, and I can say new pull request. And then I want to, I want to compare. So this is the base repository where we were first contributions. And then there's ours and we changed the branch. We changed it to add enhancement. So I'm going to click that over and we can see something green. Green is good. Uh, and if I scroll down, we can see we've got one commit, one file changed. And here we are, a shot of code added in here. Um, so it's just the one change there. So that looks good. So I've got a nice big green create pull request. So this is where we're going to send this code right to the repository we want to change. And that will then get approved by normally by a reviewer there. In this case, there's a bot that's just looking for these changes and it should do it straight away for us. So I'll do create pull request. You can add another comment in here. Um, so we would say first. Um, the source update and I've got another green button create pull request so that has gone in and scrolling down here I can see the first contribution is bot so there's, there's a bot just sitting there looking for it and it's merged it it's already said yep that's good uh, congratulations you've successfully merged a pull request so our change should be in there now. Um, and if you look here now, we are back into this, uh, this account first contributions. When I did that create pull request, it automatically pushed us back there from our account again. Um, so I can look at the code in here. I can come down to contributors.md. If I click on there, we should be able to see. Let's do a... a a search for a shot and we can see a shot of code added in here um, so there you go it's pretty once once you've uh, looked at it it's pretty straightforward the process so the the process is you do a fork um, you clone it you perform your edit on a new branch uh, then you create your pull request and it gets merged as long as it's approved by the owner of that repository um, a good first place to check it out is to come into this first contributions. I'll put a link to that just in short, but just search it up on GitHub um, and you can play around with that until you're happy with the process and then move on to an actual one. So quite a few um, open source projects will have easy first issues and have a section for them and you can go and try one of those out. All right, there you go. Hope that was interesting. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if not. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.